Oink, 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 oink. So hey, today we are gonna be making a vegan mozzarella sauce. And this ain't my recipe. I wish it was, it's not my recipe, but I got this recipe from a girl named Arena off the uh, Vegan Cheese Hits and Misses Facebook group. So thank you, Arena. I did add a little bit to it, but anyway, basically this is her recipe. I wanna give her credit. So here we go. All right, first thing we need is a pan. Now we're going in with two tablespoons of heaping tablespoons, mind you, of vegan butter. And now we're gonna press in two cloves of garlic. There's one, here's two, squeeze. I kind of love squeezing garlic through the garlic press. It's, I don't know, it's somewhat satisfying somehow. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have a knife to cut it off. Okay, let's get that off, all right. Now don't burn this garlic. You know burnt garlic is nasty ass, nasty, nasty. So now we're gonna put in some tapioca starch. We are gonna be using one and a half tablespoons of tapioca starch. And I'm just eyeballing this half of a tablespoon because I didn't wanna dirty more dishes. Okay, so now all we gotta do is cook this until it's cooked. I don't know how long I cooked it. I, you know, try to get the tapioca taste out of it. Now, now I'm going with the fattest ta total fat coconut, canned coconut I could find which was 20 grams so of fat. That's a lot of fat, I know, it's coconut. It's mozzarella, what do you want, healthy mozzarella? Yuck, that's gotta taste like crap. So anyway, oh, I switched to the whisk here, so now we're going to heat this and whisk it. Oh, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Now this wasn't in the original recipe, but I thought, you know, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning because it's Italian mozzarella. And this is nutritional yeast, which I keep in a container that looks like this. And I'm putting in three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I don't know how much Italian seasoning I use, probably a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna add more later because I decided it needed more. So we're just cooking this, it's getting thick. Um, that looks like a, tea, a whole teaspoon of coarse kosher salt. So yeah, you're just gonna salt, pepper, and season this to taste, but you're gonna get the basic recipe here. So yep, yep, so we're just whisking, 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 and it's gonna get thicker, and here, here I go. I decided, I tasted it, and I decided it needed more Italian seasoning. So we're going in with a little bit more. And I've also decided it needs some red pepper flake. So this is just red pepper flake. I'm just, you know, shaky, 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 and the red pepper flaky, la, 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 la. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, now we're going some ground black pepper. And I think that's gonna be it for seasonings. Ground black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, crushed red pepper flake. And here we go. Now, now this does not get firm. You ain't slicing this, but I'm gonna be using this as a sauce on some meatball sandwiches. Oh, oh, and speaking of meatball sandwich, there it is, meatball sandwich. And we got some other stuff here. We got some bunkhouse beans, some vegan potato salad, and another rice and corn salad. But anyway, so yeah, so this works good for like, um, it's already melty, right? So like you could put this down on some pizza or it worked really good with these sandwiches. I mean, it's not gonna work good in a grilled cheese, I don't think. But anything you want something like a melty cheese sauce, I think this works good for. So um, I will uh, leave a link to the recipe below and uh, maybe you can check it out and s let me know if you try it, okay? Bye. What you making, honey? I, I'm doing it just to, I'm making mozzarella, not mozzarella. Mozzarella. Yeah. 